The required equipment for suspensions will be a glass mortar and pestle, a rubber spatula, a small metal spatula, a two or a four ounce graduated conical, a three ounce oval prescription bottle, and way boats, both medium and small. Place the required number of allopurinol tablets in your mortar and triturate those to a fine powder, remembering to use a firm twisting motion to initially start the trituration process with the tablet. Continue to triturate until you have a very, very fine powder. If you need to move the powder down off the sides and back to the center of the mortar, use your rubber spatula. You're now ready to weigh your crushed tablet allopurinol powder. Remember, take a medium weigh boat and tear your scale to zero and put the required amount of allopurinol powder into the weigh boat. When you get close to your target weight, go ahead and gently tap some powder until you reach your target weight. Remember to discard the excess powder in the mortar appropriately. Open the required number of hydrochlorothiazide capsules and empty the powder into a small weigh boat. Place the hydrochlorothiazide capsule powder into your mortar and geometrically mix the allopurinol powder with the hydrochlorothiazide. These powders are already very fine powders, so forceful trituration is not needed. Your end result will be a uniform, fine powder mixture. Again, if you need to scrape down the powder, use your rubber spatula. You're now ready to measure the required amount of your suspending agent. In this case, we are using Aura Plus. Remember your suspending agents need to be shaken well prior to the measurement process. You are now ready to wet your powder. Place your pestle into the center of the powder and press down firmly. That will create a divot into the center. Take a very small amount of your Aura Plus and place it into the center of the divot. Now use your pestle to start the wetting process and slowly move the powder with the Aura Plus. It will start sticking to your pestle, which is fine. If you need to scrape down the sides or the pestle, use your rubber spatula. We will continue to add very small amounts of the Aura Plus to continue the wetting process. It is important to do this slowly Otherwise, you will have clumps of drug in your suspension. Try to work with your drug and the suspending agent in the bottom of your mortar. Scrape down the drug off the pestle from time to time and scrape the sides to keep the drug down at the bottom. 
You can use a weigh boat and place your dirty spatula so you don't lose drug. Continue to add small amounts of Aura Plus until you have a smooth slurry with no lumps. Once you have a smooth slurry, you can geometrically add the remainder of your Aura Plus more quickly. Your suspension should have no lumps in it. You can now use the same graduated conical to measure your sweetening agent. Today we're using Aura Sweet. Pour the allopurinol hydrochlorothiazide and Aura Plus into your prescription bottle. You can hold the pestle with one finger while you pour the product. We're now ready to rinse the drug out of the mortar and rinse it off your pestle and also off your spatula. So using small amounts, around 5 mLs, start pouring your Aura Sweet, your flavoring agent of choice today, into the mortar and around your pestle. Triturate to start rinsing the drug. Use your spatula to scrape down the sides and to remove all the drug from the sides of the mortar. Pour this rinsing into your prescription bottle and repeat the process until all the drug is rinsed from the mortar, the pestle, and your rubber spatula. In this particular product, when you don't see orange, you will know that you have rinsed all the drug from the mortar and puzzle. You will need to rinse two or three times in order to remove the drug and dispense the entire amount for the patient. Once you are satisfied, that you've rinsed the drug thoroughly enough, you can just QS to the required volume in your prescription bottle. Cap the bottle tightly and shake well.